how-to guide on how to get Office 365 Suite downloaded on your computer. Now, because you're part of the Betfoot Trust, you get the whole Microsoft Suite for free. So that includes PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and various other pieces of software, but they're the three main that you need to be concerned with. Now, to get them installed on your computer, the first thing you need to do is to go to Google. Now you can use any web browser that you have installed, whether that's in you know Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, or in my case, because I'm using a MacBook, um, I'm using Safari. So in here, you search Office 365. Wait for it to load in. Now it's usually the first link you'll see it; it'll pop up. So it's Office 365 login. I'll click in here. Now, I've got a banner here because I've logged in multiple times, obviously, to look at my emails, so it's telling me welcome back. Now, in your case, you might not see a banner of some sort. Now, if that's the case, in the top right-hand corner, there's a little person with a plus sign, and you can use that button to also sign on. So if I was to click that, it'll take me to a page to log on. Now, for this purpose, I'll click use another account just because I've logged in before. Now, in here, this is a screen that you might see. Now, in this case, you need to put in your school email address for this. It's not your personal one. It's your school email address. Now, most of you will know your school email address, but if you're not too sure, it always starts with TG, and it's the year that you joined the school. So, for example, if we were in year seven, we year seven started school last September, which was 2019. So it'd be TG 19. Let's say you're in year 8, for example. You obviously started in 2018. That was two years ago, so you would put in TG18. And you get the idea. So whichever year you started your school in, that is the year you need to put in. So you don't need to put the whole year in, just the last two digits. So in this case, just we'll go with TG19. Now your next part is going to be your surname. So for this one, I'm going to call myself Bob Marley. So my second name is Marley. So once you put your second name in, then you put in the first letter of your first name. So because my name's Bob Marley, I'm going to put in B. So, so far I've got TG19 Marley B. Now, at this point you put in an at symbol, and then you have to put in beckfoottonton.org. So that is what your email address needs to look like. So a quick breakdown. TG, you always start your email address off with that. This is the year that you joined the school. So you put in whichever year that is. Then you put in your surname. And then you put in the first letter of your first name. And then you finish off with this part here, which would be at beckfootthornton.org. Now, in my case, I'm not going to press next because obviously that is not my email address. So I'll click on mine. And then it may say something along the lines of this. And it'll ask you, uh, it might bring you to a page, something along this line. If it does, not a problem. You put in your password. Now, your password is the password that you use to log in at school. So when you have your IT lessons with me or any of the other teachers, you would obviously put in your username and then your password. That same password that you use to log on with is the one that you use for your email address as well. So please put that password in and then press sign in for me. Once we're signed in, you'll probably be greeted with a page something along these lines. Now from here, you'll see a blue button that says install office. Now, if you click on that, you can install the Office 365 apps. And all you need to do is click on this, and then it'll start downloading. I'm not going to do it, because obviously I've already downloaded the software, and I've got everything available to me. But that is the download process. All you do is you save it, and you'll see in the top right-hand corner, or wherever your software is, um, whichever browser you're using, it'll probably display somewhere else, but it'll start downloading the whole software for you and then it's as simple as once it's downloaded you open it up and it will install the whole office suite for you and then you'll be able to access 
Word, PowerPoint, and Excel.